Hello there, and well, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I thought, oh, oh no, I was just about to say, I thought I heard a fuse go off there, and I looked in the corner of there, and I saw a fuse blowing. I don't think that I turned on the fuses. I right, want the switch, that's right. I don't know why turning that on just instantly shuts down this power grid as well, even though we have the batteries. Without the batteries, this thing, this this power grid could not run. It's probably got more batteries. Also, I was thinking for 200, <coughs> 270 gold uh, could power um, um, four of them. And Oh, seven total, but now we got the bits, and this is seventeen point eight. What did I just do? Is this burning? Oh, wait, no. Oh, anyway, so seventeen point no wait, two seventy divided by seventeen point eight six, and we can run fifteen of those. And right now we are running. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus four, that's eleven. So we can have. We can actually run uh, four more of these. I should also probably. Oh. Ow. So four more, that's. That's crazy. I should probably just build. One of these foundation slabs. Yep, go. So, four more. That is a lot. <coughs> How should we organize these? I guess we could just put them sideways because why not? No. Where are they? Oh, how good are they? Yeah. Off the hologram and bring that in. Very good. And then now we can just hop over here and make sure that these are all put in properly. I'm gonna hook these up and then we should have way more power than we need. And these are all gonna be fully overclocked. And even though I've got the water up to here, we've run out of copper sheets, so I mean I may as well just put down one here and one here. So this is able to pump water up to kind of where we need it to. And now I could steal some energy from here. I say energy but it's not really energy, it's kind of firing. And then we can connect back to those. And I'm also going to program the smart switch up here so that it puts overflow into the right output. in here that we have the compact coal? Yes, and we've got plenty. I, I was curious. Can I? No, this only takes normal stuff. Okay, that's annoying, but... And into the hypertube we go for an, be a very fast journey, and we're back home, and all we need to do now is pick up some copper sheets from here. And okay, that's already full. Which means that I'm gonna build it down on the depot, but I can't I don't have enough sun fluctuator, which means I'm just gonna take these and put them in the dimension of the depot myself. One, two, three. That's probably enough now. 
also the parachute, I'm also going to put that in, in the dimensional depot, and that should be good now. And we've connected all this up, which means this should all be running. And we should be hoping that we have some flow rate going through all of these. Please. Come on. Flow. Flow rate is going up. That's good, that's good. We can see that over here. These are starting to get a bit of water in them. That's starting to get some flow. That is good. That is very good. And then up here, I don't know if I have a place to connect all these two. Uh, there we go, is that good or we'll just connect it now? Should be. If we look at the back, then we can see if they are, because... Oh, well they are. Are they or are they not? They are starting to work. They are powering up. Okay, so we have gone from 3,742 to 1.5 to so much better. I'm just saying I'm loving the dimension really. <coughs> I'm loving the dimension deep. Let's see that my voice changed just then. Went from being an old man to a not old man. I love these because what, you, what I've done is I've connected a bunch of stuff to the dimensional depots. So this just means that we're basically always just going to have a bunch of whatever's here. Whether it's this stuff, a uh, cable, or uh, this stuff I don't think needs to be uploaded to the dimensional depot. It might already be being uploaded, but some of this stuff doesn't need to be uploaded so it's not being uploaded. But the stuff that does need to be uploaded is being uploaded. Also, wow. Have, have, have all the yeah, all the DNA has been shoved in here now. We've got so many coupons. <coughs> mm. Anyway, time for uh, more power. Okay, what I'm gonna hello. Um, what? Any anyway, what I'm gonna do? is I'm going to gr grab the tractor and uh, okay I'm going to go here and I'm going to start recording and we're just going to wait here for a while until that tractor in front of us starts moving Okay then, you know what, um, wow, uh, okay then, so delete path, alright, start recording, we're gonna wait here for a while, we're just gonna load the cargo, and there we go. So the tractor is now going to know how to, for, to wait to the cargo here. And we're going to turn around, go up here, and work on recording a path. <laughs> I'm going to delete that wait node in a minute, and hopefully the tractors don't just... You know what? No, I'm just going to delete the path and I'm going to start again. And, uh, stay intact, stay intact, please drive onto this. Okay. It's got a horn. Okay, then right tractor. Maybe I'll start off going in this direction. So, left tractor. Start recording. Load cargo. There we go, so that's good. And then I'm going to set this to that 30 or 60 second wait time. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to drive nice and slowly. Here we can just floor it because it's a straight away. And then down to here. We can avoid this and then from there it's just the normal as we, it was before. Anyway, so there's the tractor done. Uh, also deleted the other one. And now I've just gotta go and make sure that this tractor doesn't have any mistakes in its loading. And there we go, that's all done now. So 
so now I've got a much better path for the tractor. <coughs> I've also expanded the path in some places. And uh, yeah, this, this looks to all be doing just good and fine. Also, there's the bell. So yeah, now this should be getting loaded up as fast as possible. Which is great, it's exactly what we want. And for me, instead of taking a tractor, I can take something much better and much faster. And much more fun, yay! And now we're gonna have to go and do what I've been dreading for a while, but at the same time being kind of excited for... It's time for the... Best Hyperloop journey in this game, in my opinion. No, Hyperloop Hyper 2, I mean. But now we are here on the big platform, which is looking smaller and smaller the more I look at it. Anyway, first of all, I'm going to set up a bunch of smelters. And these are going to be turning the iron ore into better iron ore. And they're facing the wrong way. Or were they? I'm really not sure. Honestly, I can't remember what I need to have these set up to do. Because it's been making iron ingots. And I don't need to overclock them, they take 30 per minute. And 270 divided by 30 is. 9. Okay, that's a nice and easy number. Anyway, so that's all good, so that's going to be giving us 270 uh, iron and good per minute. And what we're going to be using for that is um, the solid steel ingot recipe on the foundry. Now what I came over here to do was find out where my rotors are and uh, hmm. They are right under that, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, so, and now we're just going to put all of those in there because we've already got plenty, and then we're just going to grab the rest. Take all. Take all. Put the rest of those also in there. One thing that I love doing is just walking through here and seeing this tunnel above me. Because all the ones on this side, those are all now doubles or triples combined with the uh, interdimensional depot. On this side, though, we've still got a couple of problems because this and this are. Wait a minute, these are, these are just. Ah, so we could turn that into a dimensional depot if we needed to. This already is, this isn't, but it should be. So yeah, I'm just gonna make sure all this stuff is good. What's down here? In case some just real beans, okay. Man, I got a bit sidetracked and decided to make an entire uh, drop transport path thingy. Tractor, I mean. <coughs> Tractor transport path. All the way to what it needs some fuel. Okay, I guess we're using solid biofuel for this because I don't have any other better stuff. Okay, so, okay, where? Um, so, first of all, I wanted to start from here. There you go. So, let's start recording. Just do this. Now we're gonna load the cargo into the tractor, and then over here we can unload the cargo. Um, that's probably good. And then we can just drive back, and we should be fine. And after that massive detour of doing a lot of stuff, <coughs> mm. might not have been long for you guys, but for me it was. A long time I set the trucks up, I put a bunch of interdimensional depots and everything a long time. Anyway, we're finally back to here. And now what I need to do is put a bunch of foundries. Now okay, let's see. <coughs> <coughs> so 
solid steel ingot. 40 iron ingots per minute. So that's, that's going to be 275 by 40. This is 6.75, okay. <laughs> so that we're going to need 6 and 1 on 75%. Uh, whatever. Cool. You know, the, uh, that. So. We're going to set up uh, boundaries. So we're going to have. Uh, I'm starting here. And from there it's going to be 6. And this one is going to be. 75. And the rest of these are going to be, we'll see, and then I can just hop on top and just, yeah. This is surprisingly easy because all these calculations are really simple. I only need to use the in-game calculator because it's only like, um, we need next 60 minutes only to look at how many you can really put into one. It's 4.5, okay, so this is good. And then out here we've also got what we want. But now, now I need to work out how to refine these and what to turn them into. So obviously we need one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We got eight. That's an MK3. That's an MK3. That's an MK3. That's an MK3. Wait a minute. Alright, it's 270 divided by 40. 6.75. So I've got one extra. Um, so we don't need that, nor do we need this. Nor do we need this, nor do we need that, nor do we need this. And this one instead. Going to be 75% on uh, down. And it's going to be relatively easy to fix all of this. I'm just going to that to that. There we go, now everything is good. So this is now running at maximum efficiency. And then we just replace these mergers. So the reason that I'm not over <coughs> the reason that I'm not overclocking these is so that in the future once we unlock the next the tier four conveyor belt, we can just upgrade that instantly and we can uh, scale up production over here of this. And that's gonna be <coughs> making us much more. And then over here we can also scale up all of this. This here I just need to connect this to yeah. And all of our seal beams should now be running. Should be. If I actually even even connect. There we go, so now all of our seal beams should be running. And they are. That's good. Now we also just need to get the constructor running for the pipes. And I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be quite complicated, so we got that. Uh Pipes are third per minute, so that means we're going to need eight constructors, and that's going to be. Hmm. Wait, but we're not making that many. We're only making six. So that's 120, 120 plus 45. So that's 165. So that's. Just one six five divided by divided by thirty. Yeah. <coughs> okay then. Let me 
Because we're only going to need six constructors then, and one on half. Whatever. Half. No, number. Three. Four. Five. Six. It can be. Right. Pipes. Percent. Right, the rest of these. Right, wait. And then I can just control V these the rest of them. And now we've got all of this automated, it's working perfectly. I've used a bunch of songs loops in here. So that's a lot of our songs loops gone. I'm gonna need to go get more one day. But look at this, look at this efficiency. This is gonna be great. We're gonna be making 120 steel beams per minute. Which is a lot. And I should also probably be making some encased industrial beams. I don't know if we have any limestone <coughs> around it. And yes, we do, right there. Okay, then, so let's look around. So we've got normal, pure, and normal. Okay. So, we'll probably overclock that. Miner on that. I've just bought myself. Some Where would we be without foundations? Probably a bit lower. Where would we be without foundations? Probably a bit lower. That is. Oh, I love it. How much better that looks. Yes, I like that. Now, is there any other foundations that I could use? No, probably not. We don't need any anyway. So, yeah. So anyway, um, limestone down there, I'm bringing it up here, with in the floor of concrete, and I'm probably going to combine it with the steel beams <coughs> to make some very nice encased industrial beams, because we all love encased industrial beams. Encased industrial beams are the best thing since fried bread, right? Fried bread, wow. Uh, yep, fried bread. Uh huh. And yeah. And so once we get back to the home base, we can work out how. Make fried bread. No, not fried bread. Uh, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, we're going to need to bring all this home as well. So that's going to be one challenge. No, 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 no. We're not going back home yet. I wonder. Shame you can't use the jetpack to speed yourself up because the jetpack looks very cool. Anyway, uh, we could probably just use some tractors to bring everything back home. That or I'll just have to, I mean, I have to build the foundations anyway, so I may as well just use conveyor belts. Okay. Okay, and finally, I've got all the supports it put in onto this giant big long slab. Oh look, I just realised we've got all of the versatile plating that we need for phase 3 complete. Yay. And this job is not fun because running back and forth, connecting belts, it's extremely boring. Okay, so I've done a bit of stuff. Where and, did you um, leave your lizard doggos? What's in this storage container? Where did you put the essential components needed to I, save humanity? Do you wish there was tax to prevent container. you from constantly taking the wrong turn? Disguise your struggles to comprehend the complexity of your surroundings with signs. Yes, 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 very complex. Now I just need to go and find... Is it an architecture? No, organiza uh, organization. 
So probably just gonna put this into slot three. In slot three. Wait, this is tiny. Okay then. Oh, guess I'm building the bigger ones. So a billboard set, or is it? No, it might be display signs actually. One by one meter, two by two meters. I think that that's what I want. So if I now go into organization and I put in my I can use 2 by 3 meters and then let's see how this works ok then so where do I need to put them ok so they need to be on that line And then, yes, good, 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 I can just have them floating. Perfect. And this is exactly what I want, so you can also see that here. <coughs> here, I've also got some uh, little things that sh that's showing me what's here. Actually, I could also probably just run to these conveyor poles because they are kind of annoying me. Oh, look at that, doesn't that look so much better? And so now onto these signs, I can. Wait, which one have we chosen? So, case beams, beams, pol uh, tubes. So here I can just go, uh, select the pipes, yep. Select icon. Uh, yeah, I guess, background. And what if I, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. How do I, how do I remove? Backgrounds. I just have a gradient. Right there, probably. And then here. Oh, this is complicated. And look at that new storage system. Isn't it beautiful? And one day, we can have, you know, so many more of those. <laughs> I'm really resisting the edge to not cough. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. It's a nice and short one, which is new for the type of video. Yeah. Anyway, let's go over what we did today. So, first of all, um, that. Uh, second of all, if I manage to make my way down town. Uh, the, 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 the. Actually, oh, I do want to take the power grid. Still good. That's a massive surprise. I love hyper tubes. Much fun. Anyway, what we did today, we first of all increased the size of the power plant because everyone knows that this was already too small. And seeing as this is still not running at maximum efficiency, it can run faster. Faster? Better. Oh no. I mean, it's good, but this, this thing is so annoying. I don't like working with it. Hopefully, maybe one day we'll build a better one. Or we'll just ditch cobble power all together and go for you know, something more environmentally friendly. Anyway, so yeah, we did that. Then, we also... Honestly, I wouldn't mind having just a couple of hyper tube launches just to get around the base. Oh, I do also need to hook all of this up to up there. And I'm definitely going to need to have a temporary... Not even a tem temporary one, but just a proper... Have to launch it up to here. And a ladder as well. So that I can actually get up there. And is that a ladder right there? Yes. I don't need it. Anyway, then we got this massive storage system, which I haven't actually showed you the back yet. The back is also amazing. I've got perfect floor holes ready to connect everything. And yeah, everything's already also connected around the front. Anyway, so yeah, we've got that massive uh, highway, motorway, item, item, motorway. And if I go to the front here, you can see that if I hop into this hyper tube, which, oh, it's amazing, I love it. You can see that we've also created, finally, the steel plant. Yay. 
when I started this, I didn't have any idea of how it was going to look. But honestly, I'm kind of happy with how it came out. I think that it ended up looking beautiful. And actually, I don't know if it's better to just use this lookout tower or the platform tower. We already do have the platform. Yeah, I'm just going to use the platform. And I don't know if there's ladders on the front, is there? No, there's not. And I just need to get the ladder to go up to there. Perfect. And yeah, look at this. The massive steel farm. This is what our goal was. To create this. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you're watching the you already know what to do. And watch the playlist on the right. The video on the left. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.